It is 6 p.m. on Wednesday, April 12, 2023. One more move in this row. And we're heavy into the trees now. The grass in some places was up to my waist. Let me show you. <clears throat> Here, here's some grass that is growing up to my waist. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that thick, thick grass. The bulls and the sheep have already been through here. So you'll see some places that are nibbled. So now it's the cow's turn to clean up what's left. Hey, what do you got? Hot dog. What is that, a treat? Want to see this? What Can is you it? See a <gasps> it's a butterfly. No, you stinker. Don't eat it. No. <laughs> She had like a little butterfly, almost like a monarch butterfly. And then the dog ate it. <laughs> Hello, Red. How are you today? Oh my gosh, you crossed the fence again. Did he really? Oh, he probably went through the gate. Bandit. You want to grab the fence? Ellen, Kayla? Grab the fence charger to turn the fence off. Oh, there he goes. He's back. What a stupid dog. He crossed the fence this morning. My neighbor called and said, hey, I heard some uh, dogs crying. Maybe one's caught in your electric fence. And I went back and sure enough, one of the dogs had crossed the electric fence. The stupid one. Well, that doesn't tell you which dog it is. The one with the raccoon mask. <laughs> so... Here's the first calf I ever tagged. I seem to have tagged this one correctly, but I can't seem to tag any others quite right. How are you doing? The cows seem smaller when the grass is tall. They really do. So I could put up a, a lower wire to keep the sheep where I want them, but uh, yeah, I don't mind having the sheep wandering around. They're, they're not large enough. Oh my goodness, look at that thing between his legs. My goodness. Where's the other you? Hey there, bucko. You got something hanging between your legs. <laughs> you nibbling at that tree? Let me see what you're eating. No? Okay. Uh, the other sheep is off by herself. Sheep! Sheep, 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 sheep! Sheep! How are you doing? No, I don't want to scare you. Sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. Check your eyes. Look at those eyes. Nice and deep red color. Means the parasites aren't getting to her. Ram, 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 ram. Still wearing your winter coat. It's time to take that thing off. So she has... Her, uh, her bag is also full. Or filling up. So I, I think it might be soon when she pops too. And we get some lambs coming out of her too. So I think the ram did do his duty. It's just waiting for the uh, the babies to show up. <sighs> Sheep are just eating whatever they want. Just browsing. 75 degrees. Today it was quite a little bit hot. I shouldn't say it's hot. It's going to get a lot hotter. Um, it's a nice warm day today. Um, roll the windows down, drive down the street type of day. And the bugs aren't out yet, so that's always a good sign. Uh, 
the bugs will come out when the sun sets and you know it's kind of like rain when you're running down the highway and the bugs are hitting the windscreen there there's young 20 look at herself got little horns going on there young 20 yep are you curious do you want to smell my hand hmm <laughs> you want to come closer? She doesn't seem scared. Well, she's backing off now. Let me back off a little bit. Hmm. How are you doing there, little one? Number 19. You guys like those leaves? So, number 20 is eating bark off the tree. I didn't know cows would do that. I heard cows' teeth keep growing, but I don't believe that's true. I thought they... They do get uh, baby teeth and they get adult teeth once they turn about 18 months old. But, uh... Look at that. You can see your baby teeth. Your tiny little baby teeth. Mm -hmm. Those flies bothering you? Anyway, yeah, the grass right here where I'm standing is knee deep. <coughs> here it's just past my boot. So mid calf. Here it's ankle deep. Now it's mid calf again. I wonder if number 20, little 20, wants to be friendly like older 20. You know, for uh, cows that haven't uh, had any rainfall recently, their butts look pretty clean. Somehow they're shedding the poop off their beers. <laughs> Here, let me grab that branch for you. I'm going to help you, number six. Here. I think this might be a persimmon tree. Nope. <laughs> Let me grab up higher. There we go. Ready? All right. There you go. <laughs> that tastes good. <laughs> Want some more? Ah, she's done. Ah. This is one of those days where I don't want to go inside. I just want to stay out here till the sun sets. Beautiful, beautiful day. What more could you ask for, right? <laughs> uh, pro tip if you want to raise cattle and sheep you have to find a marginal farmland this is farmland that's not good enough to grow anything but it's not quite useless either silvo pasture is a good sign if your land is in the woods like there's little openings within the woods that's a good sign oh wow look at that grass that is crazy in the back 20. I'll take a better look tomorrow morning's move. Um, but you want land that isn't flat, that uh, isn't plowed. They don't plant corn. They don't plant soybeans. They, they can't do much of anything except grow cattle. That's the kind of land you want. And uh, look for rainfall. Rainfall is important. But... Uh, Oh, there's something in my hat there. Um, if you don't get much rainfall, you just have to adjust your grazing plants. You know, if you're out there in Arizona, then you're going to do one pass a year. You know, you got to have a plan in place for what you're going to do when it's not raining and the grass isn't growing. 
um, up in Idaho where it's cold for six months out of the year, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna have to hay, you know, you're just gonna have to harvest hay. Uh, you get one hay cutting, maybe two. Um, and, uh, that's just the way it's got to go for that climate because it's, the cows are going to be, um, in snow, right? For most of the year. So figure out what you want to do. Find a good climate that matches and then look for marginal land. Look for land that's not being turned into koi, corn or soybeans. Look for land that's next to that near the woods where there's lots of little elevation changes, you know. That'll make good land that'll be pasture that won't be too expensive, you know. So move away from the city, obviously. You can't uh, find good land near the city because people that live in the city, they want this kind of view, but they don't want to drive very far, you know. So you got to get away from the city if you want to find land like this for cheap. Um, if you're... If you have land like this near the city and you want to graze it anyway, go for it. You know, you might have a better market for your meat. You know, but just recognize that the temptation to subdivide and to sell to developers is going to be very great. And the land is probably going to be more valuable for that uh, than as a pasture. You know, I don't know, maybe you can turn it into some kind of park. You know, you charge tickets for nature walks and you know, preserve the natural beauty, use the cows to maintain the ground and increase productivity. But, you know, yeah. But uh, you don't want farmland. You want pasture land, marginal farmland, land that can't be used for farming. And then your cows will increase the, the productivity of that soil to produce the grass they need to eat and survive. Anyway, guys, have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.